For the first time since Nigeria's independence in 1960, the military overthrew the administration in power, ushering in the country's longest serving government. Unlike those before it, the toppling of the Yakubu Gowon led military administration was a bloodless coup. The government was toppled while the head of state was away at the Organization of Africa Unity's OAU summit in Kampala in Uganda. This video is a detailed account of how General Yakubu Gowon was overthrown as Nigeria's head of state on July 29, 1975. We will also give account of his stewardship in this video. Hello, 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 his plus. Welcome back to another video. Gabriel here. Before we continue, please take a moment to smash the like button on this video so that others can see it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to his pool media. Subscription is free. Just hit the red button below. Thank you. Yakubu Gowon was born on October 19, 1934. He joined the army and was commissioned the second lieutenant on his 21st birthday in October 19, 1955. He rose to the rank of lieutenant colonel in 1966 after attending some military training, including at the prestigious Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, United Kingdom between 1955 and 1966. He also attained military training at Staff College, Camberley, in the United Kingdom in 1962 and at the Joint Staff College in Latima in 1965. He saw action in the Congo as part of the United Nations Peacekeeping Force both in 1960-61 and in 1963. He advanced to the rank of battalion commander by 1966, at which time he was still a lieutenant colonel. After the military coup of January 15, 1966, which was led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nziogu, in which Prime Minister Tafawa Balewa, Northern Region Premier Amadou Bello, Western Region Premier Ladoke Akintola, and Finance Minister Festus Okotiebo, as well as many senior military officers were murdered. Gowon assumed the position of military chief of staff, while JTU Aguironsi was the head of the Supreme Military Government as head of state. At age 31, Gowon became the youngest in the country's history to have assumed this position. About six months after the first coup, precisely on July 29, 1966, the military struck again, killing the head of state. General JTU Aguironsi and his friend, the then governor of Western Region, Francis Adekunle Fajuyi. The July coup was led by northern officers who were not happy with the pattern of killings in the January coup, as well as the programs and policies of the Ironsi led government. Please check the video displayed in the card here for detailed account of that coup. Gowon was appointed head of state after three days of the country being without a recognized leader on August 1st, 1966. To appease the northern soldiers who had felt misled by the January 15, 1966 coup, as well as the programs and policies of the Ronsi administration, Gowon was appointed president. Given that he was neither of Hausa nor Fulani descent, nor of the Islamic faith, he was particularly a good choice for the southerners as well. As a result, Yakubu Gowon was an especially safe choice to govern a country that was likewise suffering from ethnic tensions. However, not long after Gowon's ascension, agitation began among the Easterners who were at this time enraged by Ironsi's assassination. In the north, there was also a sense of ethnic cleansing, with many Easterners being killed and their property destroyed. This, among other factors, prompted Colonel Odumegu Ojuku to declare the eastern area of Nigeria as a separate country, called the Republic of Biafra. This came after negotiations with the federal government including the well-known Aburi Accord in Aburi, present-day Ghana, had failed. Then, the civil war began on May 38, 1967, as a result of this event and lasted for 30 months, with many casualties on both sides, including women and children. The war came to an end precisely on January 30, 1970, with an announcement by Philip Effion. That the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. 
When the conflict ended in 1970, Gowon's regime was committed to the country's reconstruction and reconciliation. To his credit, however, the National Youth Service Corps NYC, was founded as a unification strategy. Gowon, on the other hand, began to fell out with his fellow men on uniform, who were dissatisfied with some of his policies and his failure to keep some of his earlier promises, one of which was his promise to transmit power to civilian rule in 1976. He reneges on this after postponing the date indefinitely. On July 29, 1975, a faction of junior military officers overthrew General Yakubu Gowon while he was away in Kampala for OAU summit. Coincidentally, Gowon also took over power in a coup that took place on 29th of July back in 1966. One of Gowon's most loyal officers, Colonel Joseph Nam Van Garba, was saddled with the responsibility of announcing the overthrow of his boss in the July 29, 1975 coup. Garba, at the time, was the commander of the Federal Guards in Lagos. In a speech declaring the military intervention, Garba only cited what he claimed has been happening in the country for the past few months as a reason for the coup. To replace General Yakubu Gowon, Brigadier Moritala Mohamed was appointed as head of the new government, while Brigadier Olushigun Obasanjo became his deputy. Upon hearing the news of his ouster while in Kampala, Gowon immediately pledged his loyalty to the new government, asking Nigerians to support the government. He said he had suspected that some military men were plotting to overthrow him and that, as precautionary measures, he had already moved his family to London before leaving Nigeria. He thereafter addressed the press asking for support from all Nigerians and friends of Nigeria for the new government. From Kampala, Gowon went on exile in the United Kingdom. While in the United Kingdom, he went back to school and obtained a PhD in political science from the University of Warwick. Since then, he has been engaged in humanitarian services across the world, establishing the Nigeria Praise, a group centered on praying for the country in 1996. In November 2004, Gowon won World Peace Prize Top Honor, awarded by the World Peace Prize Awarding Council for maintaining national stability, promoting economic growth, and organizing a symbolic peace conference in the African region. No matter the angle from which you may look at the man, Yakubu Gowan, his contributions to the unity of this country, Nigeria, can never be overemphasized. For an account of the July 1966 coup that brought Gowan into power, please watch this video here next. If you receive any value from this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to his pool media channel. Subscription is free. Just click the red button down below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.